Hello, my name is Mark. I'm your host with the Chartreuse Leprechaun. I'm back here again in Texas, obviously, from the green walls and the not-white apartment walls. Um, today, I just kind of in between a bunch of stuff, so I thought I'd throw out some, well, what I've learned about leprechauns for a while. Uh, I got to tell you, the, the strangest thing of all the strange myths, legends, and facts about leprechauns, did you know they're classed as a protected species according to the European Habitats Directive? <laughs> no, I did not make that up. Apparently, a lobbyist managed to convince the European Union of this in 2009. There is now an area designated as protected area for the 236 leprechauns living in Ireland. How they determined there's 236, I have no idea. But supposedly, that's what's there, and they have their very own place to live. How about that? I suppose, you, I suppose we should probably start at the beginning. The name comes from, well, one of two things, and I'm not going to try and pronounce either word because I know I would butcher them with my pseudo, totally false, absolutely unrecognizable Irish brogue or whatever. One word means small body, and it refers mostly, usually, to a body of water. Uh, it can also mean, there's another word that they use, or actually a pair of words, that means shoemaker. Um, like I said, I'm not going to attempt to pronounce either one of those words. Um, Irish manuscripts say that leprechauns lived underwater, of all things. Um, they also weren't all male. They wore red suits. They were sly or tricksterish old men. And they preferred solitude. It's also possible they are a, a historically around the 12th or 14th century, I guess, um, a recharacterization of the Celtic god Luck. It's spelled L-U-G-H, um, and he's the 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 sun god, the patron god of uh, arts and crafts, uh, some other things. Anyway, thanks to a an Irish poet in the 1800s. Leprechaun became more or less what we know them as today. Um, red beard, green outfit, short. Well, they were always short, but, 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 but he was always a trickster. Mostly in the form of lessons to avoid get rich quit schemes, I would add. Trustworthy. He will deceive you. Any chance he gets, he will deceive you. The tale of catching one to get his gold always goes pretty, uh, it's pretty standard. It goes something like this. You catch the leprechaun, which isn't easy, by the way. You demand the location of his money. He must tell you, by the way. Why? Not real sure. They don't make that all that clear. Uh, and no one seems to know where all the money came from. I mean, he's a shoemaker. Shoemakers aren't known for... Um, you know, making lots of money. So, I, I don't know. Anyway, uh, you, uh, the, you, the leprechaun tells you the true location of his money, and you mark the location with something, and you leave to go get a shovel to dig it up. The leprechaun then marks dozens of, of other locations exactly the same way. Uh, a flag, a piece of cloth, a uh, painted color, whatever, and then he's never seen again. And that's the, the basic gist of it. Leprechauns, like the vast majority of Irishmen, and people everywhere, really, are not drunks. That moniker belongs to another member of the Irish fairy folk family group, whatever word applies there, called the, I think it's Cluricons. They love causing chaos, particularly after dark. Now, our chartreuse leprechaun is indeed a leprechaun, but he, rumor has it he was kidnapped by the chloricon, so he learned all their stuff, and so he's just continuing to imitate them. He causes trouble all the time, and he, as a, as a good chloricon, and as a, the leprechaun that he is at his heart, he is always tricking everybody. So, yeah. That's the history of leprechaun, a little bit of history on leprechauns, and the origins of our particular leprechaun, who is the chartreuse leprechaun. And, you know, 
As I've said before, and I will say again, if you see something and you have no idea why it happened, just remember the leprechaun did it. Did I go the wrong way? I did. Oh, that's fun. I just went 900 meters in the wrong direction. That was where we wanted to go. Well, fantastic. <laughs>